And moving on to the next phase of adding more texture and depth and highlights to our um, dog's coat, we're going to do a couple of things. First off, make sure you have two medium-sized round brushes at your disposal. One of these is going to be used to apply this more medium, darker gray that we have here, and also any other darker highlights that we have. The other one is going to be used to apply white, white highlights, white fur kind of coming out as well on our coat. These are going to result in more of kind of that scraggly, scruffy schnauzer coat. Start in this region here. This area underneath here is a darker area. It has some darker fur as part of it. So let's start to add in these darker highlights. You're going to notice right away that they're going to stand out be over the lighter gray color that we've already drawn in here. This is great. This is the type of texture that you wanted. Keep on with this, extending it upwards. You don't always even have to go back and refill your paint yet. You're going to notice also since the under gray layer is still wet, it's going to be mixing in slightly. That's fine. Go back occasionally and grab some more. Now to demonstrate the white highlights, you're going to follow the exact same process, except in this case it's going to be white fur. So you can see the white fur highlights, how they come across. You can occasionally grab on slightly thicker, more ver thicker, more application of the white paint especially where sometimes it can get stubborn if it's still wet. Scruff it up at the toes because that's what happens to the fur. We're going to continue with these dual applications over the entire body part of the dog going all the way up to the bottom of the collar because the face is its own special area of detail.